daily getting over COVID, but also we've got a package to un unveil. The restoration hardware table is coming. Oh my goodness, they're here. All right. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Jennifer. If you guys don't know me by now, I own an antique booth called Oak and Iron, and I make YouTube videos here on YouTube to help you guys live a life that you love. So, if you can't tell, I am recovering <laughs> from being sick, and I feel so bad. So horrific I usually try to get out two videos to you guys a week um, I have been trying to do Wednesday and uh, Sunday but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna change that around to Thursday and Sunday only because Wednesday is too quick to um, have a turnover for a video but um, with all that being said I did not get a video up this week um, midweek um, because I'm sick <laughs> um, I got COVID for the second time and I'm still getting over it I'm actually out of bed it's been three days <laughs> I've been out of bed um, I am a nurse I am a full-time nurse and the hospital I work for uh, we do require masks and we do require vaccination so I have been um, vaccinated and fully vaccinated and I have been wearing my mask with patients. I know the mask mandate is being lifted very, very soon in hospitals around um, the United States. But as of recording this, um, the hospital that I work with, we still have a mask mandate. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm sure everybody has their own opinions about it. And, um, and I have my own opinion about it. But I think that is a very personal opinion. And I don't want to <clears throat> get into that. I want this to be a very safe community for everybody. So, yes, I've had COVID before. I've had it in April of 2021. And this is March of 2023. So almost, <laughs> almost two years later, having COVID for the second time. Um, it's just as bad as the first <laughs> for me. Um, although the first time, <clears throat> the first time was pretty dicey too. Um, I think the symptoms kind of wore on a little bit longer. I don't know. Um, I don't remember. You know, it's kind of like having birth. You know, um, as time goes on, the pain gets, you know, less and less. So I am a nurse. Um, I've had the opportunity to um, be a nurse with COVID patients. And I've seen way my fair share way too much <laughs> so I think the bad part is being a nurse and knowing too much and that kind of puts the little fear factor in you when you have it so my signs and symptoms this time were very similar to the last time I had COVID uh, headaches fevers body chills aches pains um, all the not fun stuff. So I think I might be on the mend. Um, I know that there is, you know, you feel better and then there's a possibility of getting worse. So we're always on the lookout for that. But today I, I feel so bad. Back up. I feel so bad for missing out of that video, guys for you. Um, I really do try to show up for you and to make, you know, content for you guys that, um, you enjoy. 
but I, I literally, I couldn't even pick up my foot out of bed, less alone a camera, and good Lord knows that you did not want to see this face on camera when I was sick. Um, so if you can pardon my voice, um, pardon the way that I sound, um, I truly am feeling a little bit better, but uh, we're going to muster through this video. So you have something to watch Wednesday. I'm actually going to be filming two videos for you today. One you're going to see on Sunday, the other one you're going to see on Wednesday. So the one that you're going to see on Sunday, which you will already have seen, is the laundry room makeover. I've been promising you guys that and I'm going to deliver. May not be spectacular, but you know, we can always redo it in the future if it's not the best. Anyway, we have some exciting things. Um, I'm going to show you kind of daily getting over COVID, but also we've got a package to un unveil, um, a couple of packages to unveil, and uh, the table's coming. The restoration hardware table is coming, which is it's actually making me feel a little bit better. So um, I will be showing you that as well. So I just want to put it out there. Yes, I will be in the room. My husband who is not sick, he's going, we're going to have them deliver it out into the garage so they don't ever step foot in the house and it'll be contactless. That being said, some of this vlog you may see me wear a face mask and that is the reason why is I am protecting others. I do not want them nor do I wish for them to have any part or any bits and pieces of what I had this last couple of days. So let's get into the video and um, first things first, caffeine. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the sick room, <laughs> aka the COVID room. <laughs> this is where I've been spending most of my time um, the last couple of days. So while we're waiting for the table, I thought, well, we would do a little bit of unboxing. And it's just a couple of things that I picked up here and there, and I will tell you the reason why I picked it up. So let's get into the first box. 
So for the first box, um, I did place an order to Filofax. And the reasoning why is because I'm a zero-based budgeter. Yeah. I'm a zero-based budgeter. And I also do the cash and a cashless envelope system. So if you want more information about that, I definitely can let you know about that. And um, in addition, I do have like a budgeting binder that I use with um, some printouts that I have made. All because I'm budgeting doesn't mean that it can't be pretty, right? So this is kind of some of my worksheets that I use. So if you're interested in that, definitely let me know and I can throw up some PDFs that you can download um, if you're interested in kind of that kind of stuff. I would say my taste or my uh, aesthetic is more like uh, cloth and papers aesthetic um, when it comes to anything like in my budgeting binder and I like the binder because it's bigger than like the half sheets or the um, A5s or anything like that I like this because I like a lot of room to sit there and uh, write figures down and stuff so my personal finances are in this budget binder and then the business expenses for Oak and Iron and the YouTube they're on an Excel worksheet only because it's easier to get that information to the accountant because they don't like you to walk in there with you know papers and numbers they like things electronically so um, if you see me looking down I'm just kind of seeing where the uh, the table is if you buy anything from RH and you schedule a delivery there's an they send you it's, it's fantastic they send you a text with a link and you can actually watch the little delivery truck come to you but it also gives you a picture of the person that's delivering it as well and it gives you an estimated time of arrival so it, it does change it changed from the first time um, that I got it to to now but at least I can see where it's where it's at right so that's kind of what I'm looking at right now and we're just kind of watching it so the first box come back to our purchases the first box is from Filofax and I did kind of um, open it up but that's all I did so far because I just I wanted to open it up with you guys we're gonna open this up together and I have purchased from Filofax before and I do like their products some of them are a little pricier than others <laughs> um, but they are well worth it and they are well made and I've had both my Filofax Safiano the Malden personal three ring binder I've had that for three years now and it still looks great so I really do like their products it, it comes like this and this all ties in with the budgeting system I got a whoops <laughs> I got a Malden wallet so let's see it together here's the Malden organizer and what I really liked about this is it has the RFID locking system as well so if you have your credit card information nobody can steal it so I like how it comes protected very well now currently at this time I'm gonna turn on a light there 
at this time there's only two colorways there's a pink one and then there's a black one i predominantly have um black wallets i don't know why i've tried a red one the saffiano is in red and i didn't like it <laughs> i did not like it so that's why i wanted to get one in black currently i have a kate spade and it's black i also have a smaller one that's a nude and black as well so i like that as well but it always has to have a component of black so i don't know why Here's what it looks like on the outside. It has the pouch right in here. And this one's made out of leather. The Safiano is not leather. It is um, a, a faux leather. And that's another reason why I wanted to get this one in leather because I didn't like the feel of it. Um, this one just feels a little bit more, I don't even know how to explain it. Like like a wallet. The other one kind of just felt a little bit more plasticky to me. I like that it has like a little carry-all so you can just pull this out of your purse and you can just carry it like this or you can um, just keep it into your purse. This is what it looks like on the inside. And you have your little pouch here, your change pouch here, and then back here, oh my goodness, they're here, all right. So you and I are in the bedroom and we are currently hanging out by the window so we can watch it get um, delivered. It's so excited. I'll turn you back around. That is so exciting. All right. So um, as they are setting up the table out there, I am going to finish um, this wallet. And then when they leave and I can safely go out with my mask, you and I are going to go and see it for the first time. And just keep in mind, this is part of the first part of the kitchen dining room makeover. And it's going to take a while. It's going to take a process. Um, but having that table in is a key component because we, it's going to help me pick out the floor. <laughs> and then the flooring purchase is next. So we can do one room at a time. But that is exciting. Having the table in is exciting. So as I was saying, here is some card slots here. I don't know how well can you see that card slots here in here. And then another kind of substantial pocket here with a a pen loop and a pen loop blocker so I like that and then this is this is what makes a um, three ring cash system work is this th three ring binder and what is genius about it is that this can slide whoops this can slide out. So if you are looking for a wallet system that you can have your agenda in to it as well, and it, you don't go by the three ring system, it is removable. Um, a, a lot of people put the Hobonichi Weeks 
they can slip their Hoban, Hoban Michi weeks in it. I bought this exclusively for the three ring system. And then on this side is more card slots and a big, huge slot here. So, like I said, I use a cash and a cashless system um, in my personal budget. And I cannot wait to use this wallet system. Again, if you want some more information about um, the budgeting system that I use and all that stuff. Um, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid from the Budget Mom and um, Dave Ramsey. I don't agree with both of them. I think some of them are, both of them are somewhat a little complicated and I like simplified. I like an overly simplified system. Budgeting is very personal, but I cannot wait to use this this feels nice and um, this feels like it will last the test of time because it feels very solid so I cannot wait to use that oh I'm sorry um, when you get from Phyla, when you purchase from Filofax they give you a, a planner for that year I don't necessarily use this part of it um, Maybe I'll keep the note pages in there. Uh, who knows? But usually, I am, <laughs> I kid you not, black. Um, I am using a Kate Spade. It's a portfolio. Um, it's more so, let me just make sure nothing is going to be, um, you know, not for public viewing. Um, it's for traveling, it's for a portfolio, and it is big. The size comparison, it is just slightly bigger, but not that much. This is the Kate Spade, and then this is the Filofax. Um, the Filofax is a little bit wider, but this is what I've been using. It has the same zipper mechanism, but the one thing I don't like about it is it gets catched up right here around the corners. And then if you have anything like this little tab here of this small little coin part, it will get hung up in the zipper mechanism. So that's why I don't like this one so much. Um, it does have card slots here, does have a large slot here. It does not come with this. This is, I pulled this out of my Saffiano, the red Saffiano that I don't like the color of. I pulled this out and I put it into this portfolio here. So I can kind of use it like this system. On this side is driver's license, a small coin pouch, um, one large pocket, a zipper, I guess for another coin slot, and another large pocket, and then there's a pocket right here. Um, I'll probably go back and forth between the two. I never get rid of my um, wallets. But I do do a, a cash envelope and a cash list system. Um, the, the aspects that I usually over spend in, that's the envelopes, the cash envelopes, because it's hard for me to get rid of cash. It's hard for me to hand over cash. But, um, the things that I don't overspend on, like gas and stuff, I don't overspend on gas. That is a cashless system. So I do do both, and I do budget for both. So this is what my envelopes look like, my wallet looks like. So it's soon going to be in this Filofax Malden um, personal planner, aka my wallet, <laughs> my new wallet. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that, guys.
Let me just put everything back and we'll get into the other unboxing. My table, my old table. Now, I cannot wait for the new table to come. So we can pick out flooring options. That was so exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like a lot of stop and go, stop and go. Stop. 